Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided I would like to do a tag. I never done tags on my channel, so I thought this tag would be very suitable right now. And the tag that I picked out, and I've written the questions all on a piece of paper and written down the answers as well. And the, the tag is called the isolating tag. So I thought that was very interesting to do because a lot of people are doing it right now. So like I said, there's 19 questions and it's called the isolating tag. I didn't know there was such a tag out there, but it's been going on YouTube for a while. And I just decided, you know what, I'm not doing anything. So I'm going to try my first tag. <laughs> So question number one, what country are you from? I'm from Canada. Question number two, when did your country go in lockdown? Was that the first time or the second time? <laughs> well, our first official lockdown happened last year, last March. And I remember this so clearly because I was actually out at a bar with a few family members having a few drinks um, a few days before St. Patty's Day. And St. Patrick's Day is March 17th. So I think it was um, the 15th that I did go out. And um, I had a really good time. I was laughing and had a few drinks and music was playing. It's just like, you know. And then sure enough, a few days later, our, our uh, city was in lockdown and just Question number three, how long have you been in isolation? And that lockdown lasted for a month. So um, it was quite hard actually, cause um, you go from going to a bar, having a few drinks with friends, seeing family members, having a laugh and stuff, going out every day, enjoying fresh air and um, my my daughter enjoyed going to places and stuff till complete lockdown. Like you were not supposed to leave your home for a whole month. And it was like, what? <laughs> um, the second lockdown wasn't too bad. I'm pretty much comfortable now if we're going to go to a third lockdown because God forbid if we have 84 cases, um, our city tends to... Um, Stop. Stop what you're doing. Uh, question number four. How does isolation make you feel? And um, I, I feel pretty bored, you know. Because I, I, uh, I also feel a lot more tired than I usually am. Because you're just staying home. But although, like... I can't complain because there are so many people that have been in so many situations, like can't come home and um, are working away from families and stuff um, and don't have jobs and stuff. Like I understand where all these emotions are coming from, from bored to frustrated to upset to anxious and stuff because I've done all those emotions and stuff, but um i've to me personally i've been feeling a lot more tired than i used to be um because i used to be a lot outgoing you know um however i do have a four-year-old so i've been on my toes quite a bit just chasing her around so that's good um but i do feel bored um i do watch a whole lot of that <laughs> question number uh the it just, I'm going to do the other questions and answer them. So, <laughs> um, question number five. How much toilet paper do you have? I have 12 rolls. If anyone wants to know or care about that. Like, seriously. I mean, I, I remember when the first lockdown happened that um, I was... I was actually at Costco and didn't even realize that people were actually... Um, getting really anxious about the lockdown that was preparing us and it was just a few days later that the city closed and I 
bought tissue and I just didn't think like, okay, you know, why are people buying toilet paper? Like, why <laughs> did you think like, um, the, the, the company wasn't going to make any more because we are in lockdown? Like, <laughs> anyway, so I just think that's a stupid question, but anyways, I have 12 paper rolls. Uh, question number six. What is your favorite quarantine hobby? Um, I, I'm on my iPad a whole lot more, if that's a hobby. Um, I do word search and puzzles. I've been journaling a lot more just about my emotions and what I'm doing and how Maya is growing every day. Um, so I've been doing a whole lot more journaling than usual. Um, question number seven, what show are you currently binging? I actually finished all six seasons of House of Cards. Um, it wasn't my favorite show, but anyways, I uh, finished it all. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of starting uh, watching This Is Us on Netflix because there is a uh, new season out. So I haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet. So I'll probably finish that. And also um, on Netflix... Uh, flash I've been uh, preoccupied on all my other shows on TV and um, I haven't really gotten back to watching the shows on Netflix so I uh, we're in season three and um, they're in season six so me and my husband will probably start watching flash again together um, me and my husband have totally different um, uh, likes and shows, but there are a couple of shows that we do watch together, um, pre-recorded because we don't like commercials, so we like to watch them uh, during the evening, our times, and uh, just skip the commercials and stuff. <laughs> uh, question number eight. What is the last movie you watched? I actually watched it on Netflix, the new Shaft movie in 2019 with Samuel L. Jackson. It was very funny and uh, it was just a nice comedy to sit down with popcorn and stuff. So question number nine. Is there anything you wish you had done before lockdown? Yes. Um, if I had known that we were going to go in lockdown or this terrible disease was gonna happen I think I would have took advantage of going to see a few family members um go see go see my nan in Halifax um she is 93 so um who knows what will happen in the next couple of years you know um when you get up there and um I also I also would have liked to visit my birth mother in Mexico before she passed away a few months ago. And um, I've only met my birth mother two times in the last eight years, nine years, that um, I was reunited with her. And so that was a very, very hard um, thing to go through, um, not knowing to see that I couldn't see her anymore. So... Anyway, uh, we don't. I don't talk about that in on my YouTube channel. Just there's just some some parts of me that I'd like to keep personal, like my family and stuff. Um, but if it's about me, like um, like I'm doing this tag, and um, uh, question number ten. What is your favorite quarantine snack? Chips, chocolate. Mm. Candy. <laughs> um, I, my favorite is um, fries and gravy or um, Lay's uh, plain potato chips, um, ketchup, ketchup chips. My favorite candy is probably fuzzy peaches, favorite chocolate bar, all of them. But I think I like arrow the best you know question number 11 
where do you want your next vacation to be? Halifax, to go see my nan or Florida, you know, so somewhere hot. <laughs> Question number 12, what is the most worn clothing during lockdown? PJ pants, because you know, I like come home, if I gotta go grocery shopping, put on my PJs if I want. Wear comfortable clothes, I'm in my lounge pants, like doing house chores and stuff. So I've been doing a lot, you know, I'm actually in my pajama pants right now, <laughs> you know, so. Question number question number 13. What is the last place you visit before lockdown? Well, five years ago, I went to Mexico uh, to visit family. But if you're talking about still in the country, I went to Halifax three years ago. And I actually went, went to Alberta, if you remember, two and a half years ago to see my husband when he was working. <laughs> yeah, he was working there before COVID happened. So that was a very fun trip. I actually enjoyed visiting Alberta. Um, I wish I had seen a lot more of it, but 10 days you can barely do anything, you know. Um, so question number 14. What are you most thankful in your life right now? I have a healthy family with me. I have a healthy husband and I have my mom that's healthy and she also got vaccinated um, quite recently. So she was thrilled about that. <laughs> uh, she wants me to get vaccinated and I'm like, try to be nice about it and say no <laughs> not right now you know it's just like I don't know I don't I really don't know I, I I'm not sick right now but you know maybe in next year or you know but um I'm glad that my mom isn't sick um so I'm good I'm good for that right now uh, question number 15, how many times do you wash your hands? Like, this is a stupid question. Like, seriously, how, who doesn't wash their hands after you go to the bathroom or, or wash, wash uh, your hands before you cook dinner or after you touch raw meat? Like, I mean, that's what I do. Um, I also wash my hands after... After I help Maya in the bathroom, I wash my hands when I'm um, um, coming home from a playground and stuff. This is what I used to do before the disease happened, you know? Like, uh, I haven't really changed a whole lot, to be honest. Like, I just, you know, I wash my hands quite a bit, actually. <laughs> um, question number 16. What is something you want to start doing? Hiking. I want to do some more hiking. I I thought it thought about it and it was something that I want to do this summer with me and my husband. Um we actually did a hike last summer and it was up around Signal Hill and it was so much fun and I don't know why I didn't show videos of that. It's, I don't know why. So I want to do it again and um you know, you don't understand, like, how much we miss if we are always in the car, like, and we don't take, you know, uh, an hour of your time to try and hike up these trails in my city. They're beautiful. You know, my city is beautiful. St. John's, like, and you just got to take back and sit back and, like, see the trees and the nature and stuff. And, um... It's actually like bunkers that I've never seen before, you know, that they used in the war and stuff. And if I hadn't like went up on that hike, like I would have known, ever known that. So I want to do more hiking. Um, I've also, I've also started exercising at home. I've been doing workouts at home because I haven't been to the gym in over a year. Um, so, um, 
I'm pretty glad that I started back in February because I actually see a little different in my hips because they're starting to shrink a little bit. Now I have a sweater on and a, and a t-shirt underneath that because I just, you know, I don't, I don't like showing my pajamas a whole lot. Pajama pants are fine, but like I just threw on this sweater. But anyways, um... I've been doing workouts and it makes me feel great. You know, I'm I sweat like a pig. I've noticed I gained a lot of weight in the last year that I'm not proud of. <laughs> um and I don't even step on the scale anymore after I noticed that I've gained a lot more weight than I've never gained in my life. So, um I want to eat better as well. Um in the last year um, we've taken out a lot, uh, a lot of skipped the dishes. Um, so I hope like in the new year, like maybe try and eat better, you know, cause like in the last year you don't feel like doing anything and you're just being more tired and I just not interested in cooking and stuff. Oh, so hopefully eat better too. exercise and hiking. Question number 17, what is something you want to stop doing? Take out, like I said. Um, question number 19, what do you miss most about freedom? Now, I got like, something to say about this because I don't understand, like in my city, because we've been doing pretty good, you know. Um, we are on level two, right, basically everything is semi-open so like the restaurants are open the bars are open um my my daughter's been doing her recreational activities right so i can't really say freedom because we're not like barred in our homes anymore you know so we can go outside we can go enjoy fresh air we can like, um um to me anyways um However, the students, like junior high students, are having a horrible time. You know, they are having a horrible time. And high school students are still online at home. So it's just really bad. And I just don't know how um, I'm going to feel when Maya goes to school next year. So, um, like I said, like, I can't really say uh, what I miss about freedom. Um, Maybe traveling because our our borders are closed still. Um, for for non essential travel, anyways. Um, also, if I wanted to complain, but I don't want to complain because I am a mom, and being sober is like a priority. So like partying, like. I can't party like I used to when I was in my 20s, you know, that's all gone and done and over with, you know what I mean? Like, but like, I haven't been to a bar in over a year, so, um, you know, just sit down, have a few drinks, listen to music, have a few dances and stuff, you know, that's something that we, uh, I haven't, I haven't been to the bar, so I don't know what the atmosphere is like, so, um, I don't know. Like they say no dancing and so um I don't know how they're doing it down there. Like if you can't dance, then like are they just sitting, you know? So I don't know. But um this summer they're gonna open up the uh, pedestrian mall. Um that was a new thing in my city, like all the downtown bars we're gonna actually have a patio and you can sit down enjoy your supper outside so i'm looking forward to that because i really want to take my mom to a uh, mexican restaurant which is like you know i'm from mexico and she likes mexican food i like mexican food and stuff like and i asked her a few days ago and she had never been down there so so i something i want to look forward to doing this summer and we're way off topic right now. Uh, question number 19. What is the first thing you're doing when you get out? Probably see my nan in Halifax. 
or go to Disney World, you know, um, in Florida. Um, I know I may have to get vaccinated if I want to travel, so I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm not saying like people shouldn't get vaccinated. I am not a anti-vax person because I give my daughter, I let my daughter get her shots and stuff. I'm just like on a, uh, I don't know what to think of these new vaccines going on and stuff so i mean like right now my city is going through a outbreak right now uh there's 84 cases uh, and um they're saying like 50 percent of our population's already been vaccinated and they're putting pressure on people to get vaccinated and and uh kids uh 12 year olds and up to get vaccinated and I just don't feel that is the right thing to do at the moment um it's just me and my opinion I really don't want to have hate on my channel because I've been doing so good about that but um yeah I'm just gonna leave it at that and I hope you guys enjoy this tag um I want to tag you you guys watching this right now you and I want to hear all your answers to these 19 questions. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Take care, guys.